Welcome to Soup Up Recipes. Today we're making barbecue pork neck. This is one of my favorite Thai dishes, and it is also very popular in Cantonese restaurant. There is a lot of Thai influence in Cantonese cuisine. However, the most important thing is that this tastes amazing and it's super easy to make. Let's get right into it. This dish can be done without pork neck. At least in my language, it's called pork neck. As I research more, it is also called pork jiao or pork cheek, which looks like this: a thin piece of meat that's on the side of pork cheek. Each pig has two of these meat. It usually hides in the fat. What we need for this recipe is the lean part. This cup is popular in Cantonese, Thai, even Vietnamese cuisine. Take a closer look. You should be able to see the fiber clearly. Actually, the one that I bought is not that clear, so I found some pictures online so that you can see that beautiful pattern. The white line, obviously, it's fat. If you make a cut against the fiber. You will see that the fat is evenly distributed between each fiber. That is the special part of it, which makes it has totally different texture than any other cut of the pork. If you have never heard of it, must ask your butcher cut it for you. You have to try it. It's so good. What we are going to do is using a sharp knife. To poke it like this, as much as possible. It is kind of like poking and cutting at the same time. Don't do it against the fiber. You have to follow the fiber. This helps the marinade. After you are done with poking, you can make the seasoning. It's really simple. Only requires three ingredients. One tablespoon of fish sauce. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. Palm sugar. Usually, it comes in a whole piece like this. You have to crush it. If you don't have it, you can use the same amount of brown sugar. Just mix them together. Try to dissolve the sugar. The consistency should be a little thick, like this. Then put the meat in and mix it. Turn it over and coat it well. Let it sit for at least three hours. It is better to do it overnight. While we wait, let's make the dipping sauce. A quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of cumin seeds that I roughly crushed it with a pestle, one tablespoon of shallot, and one tablespoon of cilantro, finely diced, one tablespoon of lime juice, one tablespoon of fish sauce, two teaspoons of honey. And one teaspoon of dried chili powder. Give that a mix. You have your spicy dipping sauce. Let's move on to the grilling part. I have my grill light up now. You want to barbecue it on medium heat. Put your meat on the grill. Bake one side for two to three minutes. It should look like this. Flip it over and bake the other side for two to three minutes. Keep flipping it and baking it. I baked each side for five times, and it came out like this. Yes, it is a little burned. Because it's not easy to control the heat by using a charcoal grill, but that's not a big deal. 
because I just like that chart mark. This is the best moment. It is a little wide, so I just cut it smaller. <laughs> I ate that part. <laughs> Slice your meat against the fiber and add an angle, so the meat will be less chewy. Look at that. I can't wait to take the first bite. Mmm, tastes so good. The texture is really different. It's quite tender, but it's not like mushy. It's also a bit of chewy and bouncy. It doesn't taste fatty at all, even though it contains more fat than other cut of pork. Because the fat is evenly distributed. Let's dip it with some sauce. The sauce adds more spices. It's quite spicy, but also sweet and sour, has good balance between different flavors. This is a dish that you should definitely give it a try. If you did, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear some feedback from you. As always, the recipe is going to be in the description. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. If you want to learn more about me and support me, check out my Patreon link and I'll see you next time.